What's going on guys and welcome to the video. So this area brings back a little nostalgia. This is a North Loop. It's on the way to Austin from Round Rock. And we spent a lot of time here during the last Ironman prep and marathon build. And right now we are a little over a week and a half out from my next ultra marathon, the Rocky Raccoon 100 miler. But I'm still incorporating threshold and tempo workouts once a week into my training. So that's what we're doing today, and I'm going to talk about the importance of tempo or threshold, lactate threshold training, and how it can help you become a faster runner. So let's dive into it. So just wrapped up a two mile warm up, and today's workout is going to be three sets of 10 minute intervals for tempo. And the goal for this is to be comfortably hard. And after this workout, I'll talk about the benefits and why you should be incorporating some sort of lactate threshold or tempo workout into your routine. So today's workout, two mile warm up, and then it'll be a 10 minute tempo, two minute easy, 10 minute tempo, two minute easy, 10 minute tempo, two mile cool down. So let's go into the workout. So let's talk about lactate threshold, also known as tempo workouts. They're interchangeable. Just finished up my workout. Overall, during the volume of that workout, I held about a 650 minute per mile pace. That was with my easy miles and with my threshold miles. Now, the intent of lactate threshold is to improve your efficiency to get faster. The thing, the caveat to that is, there's no benefit to lactate threshold or tempo workouts if you're not really maximizing your easy aerobic base building. So first thing, priority, is take advantage of your easy miles. Below your max aerobic heart rate, you need to build that volume. Building volume alone will make you faster. You'll become more efficient at, at running. But to kind of add on to, once you've already established and built an aerobic base, you can start adding in things like track workouts or tempo workouts. Now, before I dive into what lactate threshold is, I wanna talk about how you can use this in your workouts. Typically, I, I like to say it is something that is comfortably hard. And it is a pace, a little bit faster than your race pace, that for me, that I can hold for about 30 minutes steady. It's not like running out fast and then dying off and then pulling back and running fast and pulling back. A steady pace that you can hold consistent pace for 30 minutes. And that is how you kind of can gauge your threshold or, or, or tempo running. There are tests you can do. You can do a, a, a threshold test, a uh, blood lactate uh, test to establish that. There's formulas to establish that. I like using perceived effort and kind of that 30 minute time frame as I'm running and, and what it feels like. One gauge that I can feel if I'm running too hard is I can feel all the lactic acid building up in my legs and a lot of fatigue, so I'll pull back a little bit. Now the body uses oxygen for, for endurance training, right? And as you start going a little bit faster, you start putting a, a higher effort out, there's less oxygen available. Your body is not as efficient as using that oxygen. So it starts producing more lactate. And as you start producing more lactate, your body can use that as an energy source. But what happens when you start pushing efforts too hard or paces too fast past your, your lactate threshold, the lactate, the blood lactate, your blood lactate increases higher and faster than you can actually utilize it. So all this lactic acid starts building up, you can feel it in your legs, 
it creates extreme fatigue, tired, and you have to stop. So the goal with lactate threshold training is it's training a system. Just like you're training an aerobic system when you're running below your max aerobic heart rate on these really easy runs, lactate threshold or tempo workouts are building the system. You're becoming more efficient in a, a zone that is using lactate in her place of, of oxygen. And you stay in that zone more and more and more and you become more efficient at utilizing those systems. So that's the goal with these workouts. And I saw a big benefit in my last marathon block of incorporating tempo workouts and lactate threshold. It's not going too hard. It's not going too easy. You gotta, you gotta gauge that sweet spot. But once you find that sweet spot, oh, it is powerful. So that is one way you can get faster. It's, it's more so used for longer endurance events, say uh, half marathon, full marathon, maybe even ultra training, but not necessarily for, for sprints, short distance sprints. So run your easy miles, do your aerobic base building, add on some tempo and threshold work, and you are on your way to getting faster. So today we're actually shooting photos for Collagen that are gonna go on our website that we're gonna use for marketing when we launch the product. We have Travis here, a friend of our brand. He's a, basically a co-worker at this point and he's incredible, he's a great photographer and he's uh, working on our uh, photos. So a lot more to come with him uh, all year. Uh, we're really excited about it. Travis, say some words. <laughs> I don't know what else to say. Say hi, hi to the my people. My name is Travis and I take photos. This guy shoots photos in, in J's. <laughs> oh man. Dude, ultra. Hybrid. Go one more. Woo! <laughs> That's gonna end up on there. I'm gonna hate myself for it. 100%. Be a <laughs> so this year, a huge, huge uh, thing we're doing is leveling up every area of our business. And one of those things is that we present our product. Our product is a premium product. We believe in it. We know it can change our life. Now it's a matter of how can we present it in an even greater way. Uh, one of those things is doing these creative shoots on how we uh, launch a new product and you will start seeing uh, more shoots happen with all our old products as well as we just try to level up uh, our presentation of our brand. We have a new label so we wanted to kind of have a moment of kind of reintroducing all our products to you um, so you can um, make use of them. We believe that it, they can change your life. So uh, we're really, really excited about the shoots we've been doing uh, we have a lot more uh, scheduled in the next couple of weeks um, and, and it, this all works together you know we, we are creating new products for you we're bringing you uh, content and resources that you can use um, but we also want to make sure that we present it in the best way possible because we believe that uh, these products can change your life So we recently made some changes to one of my favorite products that we offer, that is Strong Reds. Not only does it have the new label and branding, but we added a very cool and special ingredient that I've been testing for the last year. Now, if you are unfamiliar with this product, Strong Reds is part of our daily Strong Health Line series. I personally use this every single morning and I mix it with one scoop of Strong Greens. I've been using this for years now and love it. Now, just like Strong Greens, this is a nutrient powerhouse, a superfood powder. And Strong Reds is primarily fruit and herb extracts that are one, going to increase natural energy. They're gonna supply you with a load of antioxidants and vitamins and minerals, as well as, this is super important, help with digestive support through digestive enzymes and prebiotic fibers. Now the ingredient that I've been testing for over a year now is by one of my favorite ingredient suppliers and that is 
Compound Solutions. We have a really good relationship with Compound Solutions. And over a year ago, they sent me a raw material, a, a sample of IXOS. And I've been using IXOS, which is a prebiotic fiber for over a year, and I love it in terms of digestive support, gut health, and just my stomach feeling better. And what IXOS does is that it helps improve and increase the good bacteria in the gut, which is bifida bacteria. And in addition to all of those benefits, we have also received a lot of feedback from customers saying they use Strong Reds around their training sessions and it helps improve blood flow and endurance through their cardiovascular training because of ingredients like the cherry extract and the beetroot juice powder extract. So powerful, powerful product. One of my favorites we offer. <music> All right, today we have the B sign going up in the executive suite. We've got Drew hanging it up here. He is the guy who designed and built our podcast studio. We've got this big backlit B going up and he's about to hang it up. As you can see, we've got the black sign with the black shiplap wall. You know we love our shiplap around here. And uh, man, this thing looks clean. Okay, so work day is wrapped up and uh, we're gonna head into the gym and hit a shoulders and arms workout, which is one of my favorite workouts because it's a fun, hypertrophy, high volume, bodybuilding style workout. It's gonna be fun, I'll walk you through it. First exercise is gonna be lateral raises, which historically have been one of my favorite shoulder and delt workouts or exercises. Now, before I go into it, I wanna give you some tips. I think during this, this exercise, my cue is right here. These are my leverage points, right here. All up here, no arms. But when I'm driving backwards and up, I am driving with my elbows and pinkies. So I almost want, if I'm thinking, I'm like I'm right here, elbows and pinkies up. Elbows and pinkies up. Elbows and pinkies up. And it's all being pulled from this area. That is my cue during this exercise. So here I am, arms on my side, sitting straight and tall. Elbows and pinkies. Drive up and back. Now recently, I am more of a fan of single arm shoulder press rather than barbell overhead press. 
The reason being, being this close to a race, I mean, we're a week and a half out from Rocky Raccoon. If there's any movement where I'm going to compromise or hurt my back, it is overhead barbell press. Something always happens or tweaks, not always, but occasionally. And I don't want to risk it being this close. So what we're going to do, single arm overhead. So I like to throw it up with my leg. You can get a little push press out of it. And what I like to do during that movement is use my other arm to balance. So push press up, use this other arm to kind of balance or counterbalance that movement. Now this right here is a Dipmar machine. It's actually the first piece of equipment we ever got in our gym. And the story goes is me and Preston rented a truck. We drove down to Houston to meet a guy who was selling gym equipment. The day before I got there, I called him and said, you know, we're on our way. We're here to buy a lot of stuff. We got there and he was sold out of everything. And I said, I'm not leaving empty handed. What do you got? And this bad boy right here, this was it. So what I'm gonna do with this dip bar machine actually is a shoulder press. And by no means was this piece of machinery built for this. But one day I was looking at it and I said, this looks like you know, a proper shoulder width, neutral grip shoulder press. The weight feels pretty good. If I get under it at the right you know, place, I can balance it. And I fell in love with this right here. So I'm going to neutral grip shoulder press this. And what I always do with overhead pressing movements to protect my back is I squeeze these things right here. I squeeze these cheeks. If you squeeze your glutes, what I found is that it almost creates this sympathetic contraction in your core and protects the spine. That's what I found. So with any overhead pressing movement, always squeezing with my buns. To wrap this one up, we're gonna do some triceps. And not doing any biceps in this workout, just triceps. So we're gonna start off with a superset that is going to be single arm tricep extensions on the cable machine, both arms, we're gonna do about 12 to 15 reps, and then directly into skull crushers. Now, I personally love, that feels heavy. I love doing single arm cable especially because we have this ball here. So I'll put my hand right on top of that ball and I can get a really good stretch up top here.
Now we're gonna finish it off with a close grip bench press, as many reps as possible. So right from skull crushers into this. So that wraps up the workout. That wraps up the day. We have a, a big couple weeks coming up. This coming weekend, in three days, we are hosting our first marathon, the Go One More Marathon, where we sold 200 tickets. All the profits benefit Team RWB. We sold out those 200 tickets in like 90 seconds. So we filled that marathon very quickly. The weekend after that, is Rocky Raccoon 100 mile ultra marathon. So we'll be documenting that journey and there's a lot of stuff we're working on at BPN that we're going to be sharing with you guys. And uh, I'm super, super excited to share this journey with you. So thanks for tuning in and we'll see you guys in the next video. Go one more.